Oh my goodness, where do I even begin? To say that convenience store foods are a huge part of Japan's culture would be an understatement. So if you're ever heading to Japan, you absolutely have to try some of the amazing foods available. Trust me, your taste buds will thank you for it. Here are the top 5 Japan convenience store foods that you have to try, why you need to try them, and how much they cost. First up, let's talk about onigiri. These little rice balls are a staple in Japanese convenience stores and come in a variety of flavors like salmon, tuna mayo, and even chicken teriyaki. They are the perfect snack to grab on the go and are super affordable too, usually going for 100 to 200 yen each, which is about in US dollars 80 cents to $1.50. Every Japanese person grew up eating onigiri since it's available everywhere and it's also really simple to make at home, so it has a huge cultural significance. To them, this is more than just a snack as it's also a symbol of comfort food from home. Make no mistake, the humble onigiri is definitely a symbol of Japan. Next on the list is karage or Japanese fried chicken. If you've always loved fried chicken, then you'll want to pay attention because Japanese convenience stores have some of the best I've ever tasted. The crispy, juicy chicken is perfectly seasoned and oh so addictive. But with so many options out there, which convenience stores have the best karage? Well, that's a tough question to answer because it really depends on your personal taste. Do you prefer a lighter, crunchier coating or do you enjoy a thicker, more flavorful breading? And we haven't even touched on which dipping sauces to get yet. That being said, there are a few convenience stores that are known for their exceptional karage. Lawson is one of them. Their fried chicken is often cited as some of the best in the business with a crispy coating and juicy, flavorful meat. Family Mart is another popular choice, with a wide variety of karage options to choose from, including spicy and garlic flavored varieties. Mm. But perhaps my personal favorite is the karage from 7 Eleven, where you can find not only classic flavors, but also unique and seasonal flavors like spicy cod roll and yuzu pepper. Promotions for karage are also frequent so you get more chicken for less money. Expect to pay between 100 to 300 yen or in terms of US dollars, 80 cents to about 2 dollars. Third on the list is something pretty unique, the yakisoba pan. This is a unique creation that you'll find only in Japan. It's a hot dog bun stuffed with stir-fried noodles topped with mayo and a savory sauce. It might sound strange but trust me when I say it's freaking delicious. And just like the onigiri, this is also another cultural icon because it's usually served as lunch to kids in school or they'd have it at festivals, so there's a lot of nostalgia surrounding it. They're usually sold at 150 yen each and that sets you back for about 1 US dollar. And of course, no trip to a Japanese convenience store would be complete without trying some sushi. Now I know what you're asking, convenience store sushi? Are you for real right now, Aaron? Yes, I'm dead serious, and don't let the fact that it's from a convenience store fool you because the sushi you'll find is still top notch. You also don't have to worry about long lines like the ones in front of sushi restaurants. You can find everything from classic salmon and tuna rolls to more adventurous options like squid and sea urchin. Prices will differ based on what type of sushi you get, and that's good, cause you have a lot of control over how much you want to spend. Last but not least, let's talk about the melon pan. This sweet bread has a crispy outer layer and a fluffiest interior. It's the perfect sweet treat to satisfy your cravings, and being one of Japan's true comfort foods, there's crazy demand for it everywhere. Make sure to pair it with your favorite coffee or green tea. It really makes you go, damn that's good. 
I could go on and on about food in Japan, but these are some of my absolute favorites, which I hope you'll check out the next time you're in Japan. Let me know what your favorite foods are in the comments, and be sure to hit the subscribe button to watch more of my videos. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.